Hi, I'm Scott from RedmondPhysicsTutoring.com, and this video demonstrates how to solve a tricky projectile problem. Billy the Kid is a playful baby goat who likes to kick things. Today we find Billy kicking rocks at sharks from the top of a 100 meter tall seaside cliff. Goats do strange things. Billy kicks a rock with a speed of 20 meters per second in a direction that is 30 degrees up from horizontal, right from the edge of the cliff. Just after he kicks the rock, Billy asks himself two questions. One, how fast and in what direction will the rock be going just before it hits the water? And two, how far will the rock go horizontally? Luckily, Billy has taken physics and he remembers that he needs to draw a coordinate system or axes to set up and solve the problem. Billy's origin is where he kicked the rock at the top of the cliff. With projectile motion, the only acceleration is caused by gravity, and gravity acts down toward the center of the Earth. This means that the horizontal acceleration is zero, and vertical acceleration is 9.8 meters per second squared down. That's negative 9.8 meters per second squared along the y-axis, because the direction down is negative along the y-axis. Billy also remembers that he needs to decompose the rock's initial velocity into its x and y components. V initial x is 20 cosine 30 degrees, or 17.3 meters per second, and V initial y is 20 sine 30 degrees, or 10 meters per second. Ax is zero, so the horizontal velocity is constant, and V final x is also 17.3 meters per second. V final y is unknown. Billy needs that to answer the first question. For projectile problems, Billy uses the equations for constant acceleration, which also include position, x and y, and time. X initial and Y initial are both zero because the origin is where Billy kicked the rock. X final is unknown, and Y final is negative 100 meters because the water is 100 meters below the cliff. Delta T is unknown. That's the amount of time the rock is in the air. Billy notices that he can use the fourth equation to solve for VFY directly since he knows V initial Y, AY, and delta Y. Substituting and simplifying gives V final Y squared equals 2060. When Billy takes the square root, he gets 45.4 meters per second. But something seems weird. Why is that positive? A positive V final Y would mean that the rock was traveling upward when it hit the water. Then Billy remembers that the equations are helpful but dumb. The square root can be positive or negative, and it's up to him to decide, based on his understanding of physics. The rock must be going down just before it hits the water, so Billy chooses negative 45.4 meters per second. As a quick check, when you square negative 45.4, you get 2060. Now Billy has V final X equals 17.3 meters per second, and V final Y equals negative 45.4 meters per second, so he can find the speed, magnitude, and direction by drawing the triangle. The speed comes from the Pythagorean theorem and turns out to be 48.6 meters per second. The direction comes from the inverse tan of 45.4 over 17.3 and turns out to be an angle of 69 degrees. So the rock's velocity just before it hits the water is 49 meters per second, 69 degrees down from horizontal. It's helpful to remember that the vector arrow means that you need magnitude and direction. For the second part of the problem, Billy needs to find the horizontal displacement, delta x. Vx is constant at 17.3 meters per second, so using the third equation seems helpful, especially since Ax is zero. Doh! Billy needs delta t before he can use this equation, and he can only get delta t from the vertical motion. Now Billy needs to know how long the rock is in the air. He tries the first equation. V final y is equal to V initial y plus Ay times delta t. Everything is known except delta t, so Billy substitutes the values and solves, getting delta t is equal to 5.65 seconds. Then Billy substitutes the 5.65 seconds into his equation for delta x, getting x final equals 98 meters. Satisfied with this result, Billy finds some grass to nibble and then starts searching for another rock. I'm Scott Redmond and I help students pass physics. If this video was helpful to you, please like it to let me know. 